What's going on? Jake here with Uncommon EDC. Today we're taking a look at box two of the Medic Box Pro subscription. If you haven't already seen my video on box one, I do have a playlist dedicated to the subscription now. Definitely worth checking out because unlike a lot of subscription boxes, this one is sequential. And what I mean by that is whether you subscribe when you see this video when it goes live or maybe you find the video several months in the future, decide to subscribe then, no matter when you subscribe, you're gonna start with box one instead of like most subscriptions where you start with whatever that month is. And the reason that's important is over the course of the year, they help you build out several very specific first aid kits, four actually, in total broken down in quarters. So the first three months you're building a duty IFAK or individual first aid kit, Month four through six you're building a vehicle first aid kit and so on and so forth and so it does go in order which is important and you do build out these comprehensive kits for each of those scenarios they do offer two tiers to the subscription so there's a standard $55 a month plus shipping and handling that one's going to get you your essentials for each of those kits everything you really need but if you want a little bit more you can go for the pro that's going to have some add-on additional items and some upgraded versions of some of the items that we see in the standard box so two great options both of them allow you to add online courses as well so that training costs an additional $39.99 per month through a collaboration with CTOMS Academy. Really great if you don't know how to use this gear, not familiar with some of it, it's gonna go over the scenarios when you need it, how to apply it, and a lot of really great information you may need. And so with that being said, if you do decide to subscribe to this, I do have an affiliate link, which will be down in the description, helps the channel out at no additional cost to you. But with that being said, let's dive in, see what they sent over for box two. As usual, I already have this opened and unboxed. You don't have to watch me fumbling with so much packaging. We'll move this kind of off to the side so we have a little bit more room on the table. But up top, we do have a sticker this month, a little bit of swag not listed in the contents, which obviously love to see that. Love getting swag, don't like paying extra for it, and so glad to see that they're not charging us for that additional swag. We also have our content list. And so on the front, we have our standard items. On the back, we have our pro, as well as information on this month's courses. And at the bottom, we have that track your medic box journey. As I mentioned, it's in phases. So we're in phase one, box two out of three, which is our duty IFAK. Also gives you a little bit of a preview of what's coming up next. So next month, you can expect a rescue knife that you shouldn't leave home without and a device to help with rapid casualty evacuations. One thing that's notably missing on here are prices. And so if you do want to price this out, luckily a lot of this stuff is name brand stuff, recognizable things that you can find and price yourself. And you should come out ahead with the subscription, but if you have to have any of these items, they should for the most part be available or very similar items available that you can purchase separately. And so we're gonna put that off to the side. We may reference it throughout the video, so we'll leave it on screen here, but I'm gonna go in order actually of how they list it. So up first we have the Narcat tourniquet. Love seeing this in here. It's essential for any trauma first aid. This is for starting or uh, stopping arterial bleeds on any of your limbs and a really great item to put in here. I think this is one item that is sometimes overlooked. Everyone knows it's an essential piece of trauma first aid, but it's a little bit of an expensive item for a first aid kit. So if people think, you know, I'm not very likely to use it, I'll save some money, skip out on it. Also, I think some people are intimidated, don't know exactly how to use it. Now they do give instructions, which I took out of the box but some brief instructions on how to apply it. It doesn't give you a ton of information on when to use it and where to apply it, just kind of how to put it on. And so I'll give you my basic knowledge. I'm not a first aid expert or a medical expert in any way, but these are meant to stop arterial blades on your limbs. And so you wanna apply them as high on the limb as possible. So if that's on your arms, you wanna get close to the armpit. If it's on your leg, close to that hip and obviously above the bleed to stop the bleeding. If you do it below, not any help. You also wanna to try to, and if you can't reach the top, you can go a little bit lower, but you wanna to try to avoid like joints or anywhere where two bones are meeting. And so that's kind of my basic knowledge of it. Let's see what they have to say about this one now. So it's the Narcat tourniquet, and the cat is a true one-handed tourniquet proven to be 100% effective by the US Army's Institute of Surgical Research. Noted as the best pre-hospital tourniquet by the Journal of Trauma, fits conveniently in the straps in the bottom of your duty IFAK. And also worth noting, once we get through the first three boxes, I'm definitely committed to doing the first three. Once we get through them, I'll make a fourth video showing what that comprehensive duty IFAK looks like that we put together. It'll end up being about $165 worth of kit if you're subscribed to the standard or $300 if you're subscribed to the pro. So pretty comprehensive kit. So next up we get 
a EMT glove pouch. And this is from a brand I recognize. Condor is very well known. They make tactical like pouches and bags and things like that. I believe they're based out of California where I'm at. I don't think they're made in the States so Not 100% sure. A lot of that stuff's going to be Cordura. Really well built though. And this is exactly what it sounds like. A glove pouch. So you have Velcro on the top. Allows you to put three to four pairs of nitrile gloves in there. You don't need to open it though to access those in the field. There's this little opening here. You can reach in, pull those out and have quick access access to them. There's also a drainage hole on the bottom. So if any moisture gets in there, it should drain right out the bottom and some straps on the back so you can attach this to molly webbing. Now, I believe the intention for this in this box is that this won't go inside of your kit. Maybe you can attach it to the back or you can attach both of them side by side onto the exterior or interior of your backpack. And so it's kind of a standalone pouch for your gloves so you can carry those extra items. Doesn't look like any sort of extra attachment points on the side. I have seen some of these where you can attach like a spray bottle or something like that on the side as well, like alcohol, things like that. But pretty basic pouch, great seeing from again, a recognizable brand. And you should be able to find that if that's something you're looking for online. I believe Condor is on Amazon, so should be a pretty easy one to find. Now, next up we have compressed gauze Z folded, not the most exciting item, but definitely something you need in any first aid kit, of course. And so I left this one vacuum sealed, not only to keep it compact, but to keep it sterile, but you get four and a half uh, inch wide by 4.1 yards or 11.43 centimeters wide by 3.75 meters and that's stretched out obviously fully expanded and it, once you get this out of the vacuum seal it's going to be hard to keep that tight press that it has there so i just left it sealed for that purpose but a ton of gauze great to see that that's from rescue essentials another brand that i recognize and another just kind of essential item you'll be able to find kind of like similar items from several brands on that one though of course next up is kind of a funny one we get some duct tape this can be used for securing your bandages or reinforcing them. And so interesting that they sent this over some regular bandage, but kind of a cool one because it's multi-use now. We can use this for repairs. If you bust out a shoe or just need to hold something together, you have that duct tape on you. Now this is from Medic Box, so they did this one themselves. This is probably not gonna be the most cost efficient way to buy duct tape. Obviously, if you buy it by the roll, you'll probably spend less per inch, yard, centimeter, however you wanna measure it. These are 400 centimeter rolls. And so you'll probably end up spending less, but what it is is a much more convenient form factor to carry it and saving you the time of doing it yourself. A lot of people who try and wanna achieve this flat roll themselves will get like a used gift card that has no money on it, wrap it around that, and you can do achieve the same thing, but it saves you a lot of time, it's already done. And again, kind of a nice one because it's both a first aid item and a repair item if you end up needing that. So next up we have what's kind of our first redundancy. So this is from Rothko, 5.5 inch stainless steel EMS shears. And so Rothko again is a brand I recognize that I know they sell on Amazon. So it should be pretty easy one to find. We get these shears, which are great for cutting your bandage or that tape or even cutting through clothing like jeans or a belt. And you, this is absolutely an essential item for the first aid kit. Now I mentioned it as a redundancy and that's only if you're subscribed to the Pro Box. So last month's pro item was the uh, SOG power shears. And so those are gonna have the same features as this plus a few additional features. So they're basically a premium item for it. You can still carry both, you have that redundancy, but it's important they put this in here because not everyone's gonna subscribe to the pro. So if you're only subscribed to the standard, you still get a pair of very usable shears, nice size on those stainless steel and all blacked out, which is kind of cool. And so that's item number five. Last item for our essential box is gonna be this pen light. This is from a brand called My Medic. They do a lot of pre-built kits where you can buy, you know, a vehicle first aid kit or a hiking first aid kit, but they make most of their gear themselves. And so this is one of their pen lights. This one's cool, it's pretty basic, but it has your pupil gauge chart on here. So if you're looking at evaluating someone's pupils, you can easily just reference, okay, their pupils look like about a five here. And so that's gonna be five millimeters and you can tell how much they're dilated. Also a really simple operation. It comes with a plastic sleeve on it when it ships that goes under this pocket clip. The reason is, is the pocket clip is how it turns on. Now, again, this is for gauging someone's pupils. You're shining it in their eyes. You probably don't want it to be the brightest. So it's not gonna be an ultra bright flashlight by any measure, but enough to help dilate their eyes and evaluate and kind of see in the dark if you need it as a flashlight as well. Also kind of a nice way to actuate it because if you put that through like a 
front pocket shirt or even on like an elastic loop with the loop underneath it it's going to keep that from accidentally turning it on in your first aid kit or in your pocket and so you won't accidentally drain out that battery and so that's it for our standard box but then we have our pro item so i'm going to flip this over we'll take a look at the pro item which is sitting here in the box it's going to be our guardian angel micro series and some months you might get more than one pro item this month and i think last month as well was just a single item that was taking up the full value in the difference between our standard so haven't heard of guardian angel but this is a cool little light it's a safety light and you can see it's a square light magnet on the bottom USB-C rechargeable i went ahead and took it out of the packaging and recharged it does come with that cord as well and there's probably a lot more operations that i'm not aware of i didn't go through the manual and read all of the operations but i did try and figure out the basics here so you have this front button that controls both the front and rear and then you have individual buttons for the rear and the front over here the ga guardian angel is kind of your just signal mode it turns on immediately into a signal mode you have your sos light in the front which can be a front facing light as well as your sos signal and then your brightness control over here for your low medium and high and so just a quick strobe warning i'm not that familiar with this light i think i know the basics but i may accidentally turn on a strobe so i'm just going to say strobe warning for the next 45 seconds or so skip ahead a minute and you should be safe there but i'm going to do the individual modes rather than that dual mode so we can see them individually first is the front mode over here on the right that turns on this light that faces the front. I should show that magnet as well. So a really powerful magnet on here, sticks on there nicely. Gonna be great if you're in like a traffic accident, you wanna stick it to the hood of a car, the engine block of a motorcycle, in a workshop, any of the metal there. Lots of options in terms of sticking it with that magnet. But that turns on the front, clicking it again cycles through the different modes for that front facing light. So now we're gonna get into some sort of flashing modes here. So you can see we have this kind of radiant mode where it kind of radiates outwards. And then we have this one where I think it kind of stripes across that and then clicking it again I'll turn it off at any point you can also just hold it to turn it off but now I'm going to leave that on and we're going to do the rear lights which is over here on the back and so we have our red light mode and then the same kind of couple modes for that where you can cycle through those different modes for the red light and so we'll turn both of those off and hit this GA button, which is gonna go into that immediate signal mode. So that way you don't have to individually cycle into each. And we'll hold that for just a second and you'll see all of these different lights signaling through that mode. And so that turns on both the front and rear at the same time in the signal modes immediately. I didn't show the brightness control. There's not, I mean, it's a low, medium, high. It's not that difference in bright, big of a difference in brightness anyway. But last but not least, we have the SOS mode. And so there's actually two lights here. If you want a different direction for facing that light, that's not facing the front or rear, just kind of top facing, or if it's pointed outwards, kind of front facing light, you can click that and turn it on for a regular lighting mode. And it's actually decently bright as well, but it's also our SOS mode. So if I click that again, you can see it goes into our SOS mode and then we can click it again to turn it off. So some basic operations, it does seem pretty complex at first, but I got through those without reading the instructions. I'm sure I'm missing some additional modes because I didn't read the instructions, but because of that, let's read what they had to say on the content list. So wearable safety light featuring four brightnesses, brightness settings and flashing emergency patterns with three plus miles of visibility. And again, that's not gonna be a beam of three, three plus miles. It's just in darkness with a low light environment. If that's on, someone's gonna be able to see you from that far away and see that there's a light on over there. Use it as a hands-free work light in first aid situations or the strobe and SOS features to signal for help. The device includes a built-in magnet mounting system that will attach to nearly any surface, plus it's small enough to store within your duty IFAK. So I absolutely love this item. I've never heard of Guardian Angel, but it's a really cool light. I have a very specific use in mind for a future project for this one. And so really glad to have gotten in there. It's also got a really powerful magnet. I kind of already showed that, but you see it just picked up those shears from probably about two inches away or so. So a really powerful magnet that's not gonna slide off on you. And then last but not least, I can't show clips obviously from the Academy. Those are paid courses. I'm not gonna show video from that, but they do write up what the course is each month on the content list as well. And this month it's focused on understanding trauma. So 
The video series establishes a foundational understanding of the body's physiology, and when inflicted with trauma, it will take relevant complex biochemistry and physiology processes and explain them in simplified terms that are easy to understand and important to even the most basic care provider. Also gives a preview of next month's training course, which is Emergency Bleeding Control Part 1. That's for massive external bleeding is one of the most common causes of preventable traumatic death. Learn first-line hemorrhage control with this two-part series. And so really great box this month. Once again, I think we added some really essential items to the kit. Like I said, I'll make a fourth video once we have the full three video duty IFAK built out. And that'll be separate, so no spoilers for those that just want to know what's in the third box. But would love to hear your thoughts on the contents of this month's box down in the comments below. As usual, if you enjoyed the video, consider liking, commenting, subscribing, or joining the channel as a member. All help the channel out a ton. Again, do have a playlist around this subscription now as well. Well, and I hope you have a great one. Take care.